Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up SideQuest in 2024 so you can side load applications on your like your MetaQuest 2, MetaQuest 3 and MetaQuest Pro. That's what I have, is the MetaQuest Pro, but the process is exactly the same for the other headsets as well. So this is for Mac, I'll have separate video for Windows and for Linux. So first of all, what you want to do is go ahead and create, oh, it's the wrong one, what is called an organization. So if you go to this website, developer.oculus.com forward slash manage forward slash organization forward slash create. It's still, you know, an Oculus website, even though Oculus is no longer around, it's Meta and Meta Quest. So yeah, you go to this website, you know, make sure you sign into the same, you know, account that you're signed in for, you know, your meta quest and you just put a name. This doesn't matter. This is just because you need to put into developer mode to do this and you need an organization. You need to basically act as if you're a developer. So if I just say dev account like one, like you will find like a lot are taken. So I've got like ABC, that's not taken. So I click understand, click submit. Like I said, the name really doesn't matter unless you're actually planning on becoming a developer. And even then you can create new organizations. So it's not the end of the world. So once you've done this, that's it, like, I'm done. And as you can see, I've got loads of other organizations that I've created in the past. And now what you need to do is actually enable developer mode. To do that, you do that from the application itself on your phone, so on iOS or Android. So I've got my phone right here. So you want the Meta Horizon app, which is a new application. You wanna open that up. You wanna to go to your profile icon at the bottom. You wanna click the burger you know menu the menu button it's called the you know a burger button uh, in the top right of the three lines and now go to devices you want to select your device which is MetaQuest pro for myself you want to click headset settings so it needs to be connected so you'll connect go to developer mode and in here enable developer mode i've already enabled it so i'm all good to go so we're all done on the phone side i can you know just minimize this now what we need to do is download and install sidequest so what i'll do is i've got chrome over here so if i type in sidequest i'll have a link to this in the description just open up the website it's sidequestvr.com and what we want to do is you might see like a menu in on the left like if i zoom out a bit it, it'll probably look like this for you so you want to go to guest side quest or click here at the bottom and now go to advanced installer and i'll do a separate one for web installer go to mac os click that you'll start downloading i've already got it downloaded so i'm actually going to start cancelling it um there we go okay so i've already got it downloaded so i can close that down to install it you double click your sidequest.dmg drag this into applications this won't pop up for you most likely because i've already got it downloaded but i'll replace it and now we can close this click search and type in sidequest click open The first time you open it, it might take a little bit longer um, than your know, subsequent times. It's just setting things up on your system. What if this does this? What I want to show you is if I go to like Amazon, and the reason why I'm going to Amazon is there's particular types of cables that work. So if I type in like 56 uh, on cable, so Oculus is very, very fussy with cables. So you want, so what you want is a 56 ohm, you know, rated cable. If you go to Amazon, you search for it, you know, you should be a good, basically you don't want to get a cheap cable. If you get a good quality cable, that's, you know, a bit of money like this one, it should be fine. If you want to get like a extension, you know, to the cable, so you want to extend it, I recommend something from Ugreen or Anchor. Those are two good companies. Anyway, if you get a good quality cable from them, you should be all good to go. But that's just something to bear in mind. If you have any issues with it, try a different cable. So you want a cable that's not cheap.
Okay, let's see if side quest has launched. It has. It says device not detected because I haven't plugged it in. So now if I plug it in, So mine's gone green. For you, it probably won't go green. It'll probably go orange. Something about permission. You put your headset on. Once you put your headset on, you use the controller, you accept the permissions, and then you go green. Once it's gone green, now you can start installing the game. So there's two ways you can install games, you know, whilst you're here. You can either A, use the basically the app store on SideQuest, which I'll be showing you, or B, you can install, you know, APKs, they could be and literally just pure Android apps, or they could be, you know, a VR application. So if I, you know, click install APK, you can do that and select your APK. You can also manage files on the headset. So this is a file explorer as well. You can see all the individual files, see all the different installed applications as well. You can, you know, get some more information about them and see, uh, you know, the app data, etc. So you can back this up and export it. So now let's install an application. So I install something that's already here. So if I scroll down and I'm going to go to, if I go to apps, I'll go to all applications and some uh, games like, like boneless, for example, if I click this and I, and I select download options, this is on the Oculus store. So you would actually go to the Oculus store. So this is kind of an aggregator as well. Like it, it has a bunch of apps in there. Sometimes they're not all ones that you can install directly so it's you know it's, it's expanded a lot over the years if i scroll down and i will select the game i was gonna select was side quest or side craft it was sorry so i will literally just search for it it's not there so let me just go back to apps Again, I just want to show you the process of a uh, quest craft. That's it. So if I select that and I click side load now, it's installing. If you click here, this will show you the progress of all the applications and any tasks that are, are happening. So this particular game is a bit bigger than some of the other ones. So it will take a little longer to download and install. Some stuff will be like literally like that and some will take a little longer like this one. So I'll let this one complete. Once it has, I'll show you on the headset itself where to go to be able to access the game another little tip whilst we're waiting if you have some sort of like battery pack or accessory connected to your headset and that has like some sort of USB-C port that you can connect into there and then the like the battery is connected to the headset don't do that disconnect the battery pack even if you can leave it attached that's fine but a lot of the times these accessories are power only they don't have data transfer as part of that USB-C connection so you want to just use it directly into the headset for the best experience and now we're done so to actually play the game first of all I'll cast my screen over so you can see what I see and then I'll show you where to go give me a, a more quick moment I'll cast my screen and it should be coming up any moment now I'm just gonna zoom out a bit okay there we go so the quality is not the best but it's, it's kicking in so to access your game or anything that you've installed you go to your library and if I go to all you want to select the drop down go to unknown sources so this is a little bug that i found so if i go here and sometimes unknown sources say zero if it says zero it's fine so go to it and if it says great so quest craft again it doesn't look as you know neat as the all section but if you click that and you'll notice once it's just in the loading process it's, you'll go blank in terms of if you're casting so right now it's actually asking me to provide access to story that's fine i'm going to click allow and then you're you know see quest craft and in a second you'll ask again about permission for microphone so you'll go great again that's just what's happening here you won't experience that because you'll have the headset on and that's it i'm trying to look around for you so you can see as well so yeah there you go we are in the game and uh, there's an option for me to sign in 
you have to go online and do that but that is We are actually in the game that's been sideloaded. So I'm going to take the headset off now. And that's all I want to show you. How to set up SideQuest and how to install applications using SideQuest sideloaded. So you can be an APK directly on SideQuest. If you have any questions, feel free to post a message down in the comments. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know what VR content you would like to see next. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.